seconds. We'll let everyone get in here first. Uh, well, Carter, what are your thoughts uh, on, on your first final? I mean, obviously, 6-0 in the first set, but you managed to even still have some fun in the second set. Uh, smile and give the credit to it. Um, first of all, my nerves were playing me in the first set, that's for sure. Um, I didn't play as, as I would like to play. So, but in the second set, a couple games, you know, here and there, you know, I loosened up a little bit. The crowd helped me very much to relax because uh, the support I got here, I really wasn't thinking of this kind of big support for me, you know, but still, the favorite was Sam here on the court today, but uh, still the crowd was great and uh, I really enjoyed it. Even though I was nervous, I enjoyed my first ATP final and uh, looking very much forward to another two minutes. And that, that drop shot actually earned possibly the biggest ovation of the, uh, <laughs> of the, of the match. So yeah. You smiled widely like you are now, like you really were loose and having fun with them. What do you, what do you feel in that, in that moment? You know, when a couple thousand people are cheering for you for this drop shot and it even wasn't the best drop shot, but, <laughs> but I still won my first game in the finals. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, really feel, felt well and, uh, you know, it's, it's a great feeling to be here. We talk about, you, you talk about, about what it's like to, to be to uh, about talk about his game. What your perspective was? Uh, was it the first time first time you ever played Corey, right? First time I played him, and uh, the last time I saw him playing, it was maybe a couple years ago before he was injured. So I came on the court like I, I knew his more or less uh, the better size and worse size, but you know when I never saw him playing. Uh, that much, so it was kind of difficult in the start to understand this game. But uh, by the end of the second set, I got a little bit of <laughs> feel. What should I do? But too bad it was a bit late. But uh, you know, hopefully one day it's going to be different. Well, when things are going as badly as they were for you in the first set, what, 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 what's going through your mind? Are you just want to find a hole somewhere and kind of get out of sight, or, or what? Uh, you know? Uh, many things were going through my head. <laughs> like, <laughs> also, the, I was very interested in how long uh, the first step took, you know, like 15, 19 minutes, so we know, you know, so. um, But yeah, you know, just keep, keep, try to keep myself focused and uh, still it's finals and I'm trying to do my best, so I uh, was trying to get into the game as much as, as quickly as I could. Ricardo's talk about the height disadvantage. I know you deal with it all the time. I, I know all about it myself. <laughs> How does it come into play in a match like this, especially against a guy so big who hits the ball so hard? You just don't think of that. You know, I've played many tall guys before that, so I'm used to that. And uh, the big advantage that tall guys have usually is the first serve. It's uh, even today on the break points, he made a couple aces and a couple really strong serves, you know, so. Uh, but still, when you're in the match, you don't think of the heights, that's for sure. You just think uh, how to deal with it. Um, having to go, having been gone through the, the qualities and then reaching all the way to the finals, do you think being tired might have had something to do with um, your performance today? Uh, for sure. At least a little bit it had. Because uh, still, eighth match in a row, and uh, you know, came from Atlanta also and had uh, just one day off. Yeah. So, what was it for me? Maybe 13th match today in two weeks and two days off. Yeah. So of course, but uh, the, the thing that I'm happy because of is of my body, you know. Uh, no pains, feeling good, you know. Of course, tired a little bit mentally and in the hole, but in the hole I feel great. Uh, talk about, um, Corey's got a 130 mile hour serve. What, what do you do to Return that serve. How do you return that serve? Just try to use uh, his speed. That's the only way you can return that serve, I think. And uh, in front, just jump on the ball and you know, hope that it's gonna go in. <laughs> this is a, a great showing for you and for your country. What has been the, the feedback from home, and what has your country thought about you getting this far in the tournament? Myself, I don't know that much, but uh, my coach was keeping in touch with uh, everyone even after the match. And, I still kind of put my phone away, just uh, go 
for my friends and uh, some other close people got in touch with, but uh, I really believe that uh, everyone was very much cheering for me back home, and I really thank them for that, because to get such a big support like I get from home, it's, it's a great. After the match, the red carpet was rolled out, they're bringing out the trophies and all that, and you went over and you shook hands with your coach. What what was the exchange? What did you say to him or what did he say to you? First, we, he told me how long was the match because I asked him that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, after, you know, we just talked about the match, but there was nothing to talk about. I was, I was really like, the nurse played on me so much today that uh, there were not too many things to talk about. So it's, uh, I hope I'm going to use this maybe, hopefully, next time in the final, I'll get so nervous again. Are you following the Olympics at all, and is this the start, hopefully this week, of a good Lithuanian Olympic tennis team? Mm. Uh, Sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, they're not too bad. There are no other tennis players in the Olympics, especially. But uh, tonight, uh, actually now, the basketball should be playing against Argentina. So I hope I'm going to be able to watch at least a little bit of that. Best of luck to them. Do, do you know Ruta, the 15-year-old rush broker? Ruta, uh, the 15 year old breaststroker. She's yeah, the fastest qualifier going into the finals. Yeah. Yeah. And she got into the finals today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish we would have the best for her. What are some of the things that you've learned by reaching this final for your, your career moving forward? Uh, just to keep the body healthy, I think. Because for the last year I was struggling and last couple months I'm rehabbing and I'm still in the rehab process now and I think when you keep yourself healthy you still get a chance to win some matches and you just go through quite quickly you know you get the confidence on the court and that's what makes the biggest difference I think that's when you can perform 100% every day you know and just go through some tough times tough matches and that's when you get to where you want to get. The, the, the ring around that, that you wear every match. Um, what can you describe your friend that you lost and like who he was to you and a little bit about his personality?